Okay, George, nil nil again. Draw again, sir. Winning tonight, frustrating evening all round, would you say? Yeah, um, obviously we we'll look at the positives first. Um, another clean sheet um, in terms of where we want to be going at this stage of the season. Um, you know, we got a point away from home. We have to look at all the positives. Um, now going to your question, um, we lacked a lot of composure. Um, you know, in terms of um, ha um, having sequences of passes, we, we spoke about controlling territory and possession. We didn't quite get that right tonight, so um, we have to get back to the drawing boards and, and keep working to, to improve. I think you probably expected, I'm guessing, a, a reaction from Welling after conceding five on Saturday, and so they were very hard to break down and they wouldn't leave many gaps for us to, um, down the middle, did they? Yeah, definitely. Um, not being disrespect to Welling, um, they are a good side, yes. They got, they got, they got beat on Saturday, that, that was a di totally different game. This is a local derby, and local derbies are not, are not pretty, um, you know, and they've, they've rolled their sleeves up and they gave it, gave it an absolute good goal. Um, it was down to us to break them down, to control um, territories and break the lines with, with um, quality passing. Um, we didn't quite do that um, tonight. We didn't see a lot of that tonight. So, um, so credit to Welling. I mean, does it sort of make a difference as well? Because the pitch is just a little bit smaller, isn't it, from sort of our one, really? It sort of makes it a bit harder, really, to get into those little pockets that, you know, that we're quite used to in games at the moment. I mean, is that, is that maybe a factor tonight that we just didn't quite no, have no, the quality in that final third? No, no, no excuses um, about the pitch. The size of the pitch doesn't matter. Um, we got pass, we got move. Um, we got getting in areas to affect the game, to impact the game. And then we didn't quite do um, a lot of that tonight. We done it in glimpses, but we didn't do it enough to win the game. So I thought um, in the end, the draw was a fair result. Mm, I mean, I think you made um, five changes tonight, I think, or four changes from Saturday. Um, is it key to sort of just keep the squad fresh from, from Saturday's draw against Farnborough? Yeah, we have to. We have to manage the squad right. Um, we've got a lot of players that have played a lot of minutes and we have to look at it. We have to look at the surfaces that we've been playing as well. So we have to, to try and help manage our players right. Um, you know, we don't want to be short in terms of bodies um, and we have to look at, you know, the minutes and we have to look at the games. And then we have to look at the squad and give everyone a chance to, to sh show us what, what, um, what they are capable of doing. Um, but again, um, tonight is giving us a lot of fruit for thoughts. You know, our players have to go home. They have to reflect um, on how um, they impacted the game for themselves, but also for more so for the team. And then we'll be back. We'll be back um, next on, on Thursday to, to, to nullify stuff, have some visuals, and then we can talk about it and then, and then work on Thursday and on Friday. And with the aim, of course, now being towards Saturday against Western Supermare, you know, another, another long journey for us. But again, it's a sort of a different test, I would say. I mean, they beat Torquay, Torquay United tonight, so obviously they're, they'll be all guns blazing, weren't they, going into that one? A completely different um, opposition who are very good in, in by their own rights. Um, no game is easy. Like I said, every game is completely different and it poses different challenges to us as a team. And it's us, the management team, to nullify that, um, drip feed information back to our group to help help them on the football pitch. But again, we're going to go to work. But first, we have to look at the recovery process now. Um, the boys, they look tired and we have to make sure we look after them and they have to recover properly. And then we'll go again on, on Thursday. Well, thanks for your time, Catherine. Speak to you Thank you.